All right, people, it has been a long time coming, and we were waiting forever for this small saw to get turned up. Let me get you guys a visual before I actually do the testing. All right, so you guys might remember this site. It's over on Dover Center Road in Westlake, Ohio, between Hilliard and Center Ridge. It's a small cell C ran from Verizon. Let me see if I can zoom in for you guys a little bit. You guys can see the cabinet with the radios and then the antennas at the top. Uh, so this is actually at a school, uh, kind of like on the property in the tree lawn there by the street. And man, this thing took forever to get going and turned on. It was a huge delay. I'm not even sure what the business was. Uh, you could see like the fiber optic cable and stuff up there. It looks terrible. It's a mess. Uh, they never uh, came back to like clean that up or do anything with it. But the bigger issue was the fact that for months we were waiting for power. Uh, you know, for it to be powered on. I'm not sure if it was power company related. I'm not sure if it was fiber. I think the fiber was there. I don't think that was the issue. I think Verizon did its part. I think they're waiting on power. Anyways, it took months. I'm talking like four, five, maybe six months for it to get turned on even after it was fully constructed. You know, everything was assembled and, and, and all set in there. But we are good now. It is It is active. It's been active for a few months. I just haven't been able to find the time to stop and, and do the testing here. Uh, but we're right up against it. Here it is with the 5G enabled. So that'll be your nationwide 5G. Uh, 98 megabits down, 110 up. Doesn't seem like that's normal downlink throughput. Something seems a bit off. 29 ping. Uh, it's got elevated loaded latency for downlink. I'm not sure what it is. We are connecting to the Verizon server. Okay. Um, so let's try this again. I'm not sure why it's acting up like this. I'm going to check the connection log in a second. Uh, let's see what else we got going on. Yeah, we got similar issues. For some reason, the uh, downlink's a problem. But let's check it out. Uh, usually it performs better than this. So I'm kind of surprised, but we, we shall see. Oops, picked the wrong sim. Okay, so we've got band 66 for 20 megahertz. And 5 for 10 megahertz. We just lost it. Let's see if we can run this in split mode. And then give it a go while we pull on the connection. It'll show all the different frequencies and bands that it's connected to. All right, so there's the N5, the 10. 66 on there, no. It's weird. It is a weird connection. I'm going to go ahead and airplane mode this, actually. And let's see what happens there. Maybe if we do that. Because the uplink is good. Downlink is the problem. Weird. All right, let's go ahead and reset this thing. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Star pound. 2263 pound. And then we'll connect the Verizon sim. I'm going to clear all bands. L uh, you know, let's go back. Let's go LT only. Let's start there. <laughs> LT all. Go to main. Apply band configuration. Should see that 5G to turn to 4G LT. All right, cool. Excellent. Let's try it on LT. Maybe the 5G is the problem. All right, so it looks good on LTE, right? LT looks great. Oh, finally, it fixed the camera. It was completely unstable. Oh, look at the optical image stabilization is working now. Yo, man, iPhone 16 Pro Max video recording. Uh, my 14 Pro Max was actually a little bit more enjoyable than this. All right, 262 down, 39 up, uh, pings at 40. That's yeah, pretty good. Let's run a second one. Some instability on the 5G side, actually. Huh. Wonder what the deal is with that. LT looks good. 260, 270. Although I don't see it connecting the CBRS. That's weird. Usually there's CBRS on these sites. Mm. I'd be surprised if it wasn't on there. That's weird. Okay. All right, let's do that split screen thingy. Did I did it save it? Nope, it didn't. Okay. Split screen. Let's do it with the service mode. Easy. Right, 
let's run it. Oh. Star pound zero or one pound. Ten megahertz of band five on LTE. Twenty megahertz of band is sixty six. Band five ten megahertz. Where'd they get that? Usually it's five. Wonder if they did a spectrum swap with someone or something. Or maybe they had that on I don't know. Limitation of some sort. Hmm. I would definitely say that this site's a little inconsistent. I mean, we've seen some amazing throughput. Here's a 350 speed test. Maybe it's picking up a CBRS channel now. You know what I mean? Nope. Doesn't show it. Interesting. All right, let's do this. Star pound 2263. Let's go to the... Uh, let's clear all. Let's go to 5G. And our NSA only. Go to main. Apply band configuration. Let's see that 4G LT up here. Switch to 5G. What does it want to do? No? Ooh, failed. NR, NSA only. Okay, fine, NR all. <laughs> fine, you want to be difficult. Apply band configuration. Switch to 5G. Why? Oh, how could I be so stupid? Clear all bands. Select all bands. Apply. All right, now we should be good. <laughs> Come on, Sneed, you've been doing this for years. you got to know better. All right. Why am I having a hard time getting this thing out of the, uh, the sensor? Is there a pro mode on these iPhones? There we go. Just finished. Okay. Focus. And this iPhone has not been it. Anyways, looks like the 5G is not performing well. Hey, VZ, if you're watching this video, VZ engineers in the Cleveland area, fix this site. The NR 5G is not functioning properly on a Samsung Galaxy S25 Plus. Quality assurance, what up? Got a problem here. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Share with me your thoughts and opinions on this testing. We appreciate you guys. Thanks for being here. See you on the next one.